What's up, my dragonflies? Now, this could be something really weird for you guys, but this lake right here, I love this place. And why I love this place is that this spot, stand on this little spot right here, looking out on the lake, and I just, I just do deep breathing. I just meditate for like, literally for like an hour. I just stand here. <laughs> There's people walking past sometimes. I should do it at night, so it doesn't seem too weird. <laughs> oh, to see this guy standing here for an hour. But, I just breathe in, hold the breath, let it turn to energy, let it turn to chi inside my body, and just slowly breathe it out, up my spine. <laughs> I tell you guys, I see light, I feel energy, I feel this boom stream of light coming down and this past week I've started hearing ringing in my ears and when everything goes quiet and when I tune into it I can hear the ringing and when I start focusing especially when I start focusing my energy and coming to center the ringing becomes more intense it's like with more energy coming through me the ringing becomes more intense and I can feel that there's just more energy going around my body being cleansed through <laughs> raising my vibrations as you would say it or you know um, becoming more in tune with energy and other things so we have five sensory organs you know your smell taste touch sight what was the other one one more <laughs> right and uh, sound and so I'm perceiving this energy or something going around as a sound, which would make sense, it's a vibration. That kind of makes sense for me to perceive it as a sound. But guys, we also have things that people call a third eye, and they say a third eye is also a sensory organ. But the thing is, we don't use it so much that we forget how it feels. See, when we're children, we feel like we can perceive energy, we can perceive everything. And then as we get older, it's like, no, no, this doesn't exist. We get sort of domesticated, socialized, and we stop perceiving this. And I think doing meditation, doing, um, doing practices that bring you into your center, and sort of doing energy practices through breathing and other things like that through yoga, it brings you more in touch with the sensory organ that you've forgotten to use. And you don't know how that's gonna come out. We don't know how that feels, or we did know when we were younger, but we forgot. And the main thing is like, don't come at it with, oh, it's supposed to feel like this, or it's supposed to look like this. What I do with meditation, I just breathe, and sometimes I see light coming up, sometimes I just feel like shaking. <laughs> and I can try and explain it. I can be like, okay, so there's another dimension, like a higher, higher level of energy. And when I breathe, this energy inside me, this air, turns into energy inside me and it kind of, it affects my, my body and my energy level, like say radiation waves would affect you. And it kind of raises your, raises the frequency of your energy level, of your, of your, uh, like, of your soul, right, or of your energy. And it kind of, it, it impacts on it like a radio, like a, um, like a radioactive, for example, wave, right? and it changes the frequency a little bit, like makes it sort of float up, up and come sort of onto the level of this other frequency. And then it comes down again, or, and then eventually, you know, with, with breathing, for example, when you breathe really deeply and you let it go, it's like, woof, you're like, third eye opens, you like see everything, you're like, whoa, like, and then you're like, woof, come back again. And it's like kind of jumping up, floating up and coming down, floating up and coming down. And eventually just sort of, float up more and more and more and more and the general level just sort of goes up and up and up and up. And sometimes you have these like huge like, oh, like energies come through you and it's like whoa god you feel like you're gonna fall down. <laughs> uh, so this is something I definitely don't talk about very much but I know a lot of you are going through and a lot of you coming in touch with energy and let's say a different dimension, a different plane of existence. Um, just like microwaves are a different plane of existence, just like radio waves are on a different plane of existence. They're, they're here. They're just on a little, slightly different vibration, slightly different dimension. And 
as you come in touch with this, it's okay, you just become more in tune. And it, it takes time. It's taking, you know, it's taking time for me. I'm starting to hear ringing in my ears, so I'm tuning more into it, trying to understand what is it, what is this ringing? So when I focus, I hear it become more intense. Um, today I started hearing electricity, which is really strange. I could, I could hear like the charging of my phone, like the electricity. Um, how do you explain that? <laughs> so come at it with an open mind. Don't be like, you know, it doesn't have to be this way or a certain way. Just see what it is. See it for what it is and just let it be, like no judgment. And then look up on YouTube, look up and, I don't know, read some books and see what vibes with you. If this feels like what's going on inside your, inside your body, inside your mind, sure, that's great. If, if you read and you're like, no, I don't think, I, I don't know, this is, doesn't sound right. Okay, you don't have to accept it. You know, it's the experience, like I say, is very subjective, it's very personal. So let it be personal. Just let it be. <laughs> let yourself see what you're not seeing anymore. All right, guys, so let's elevate. Let's get some energy up in here. Boop, 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 boop. Dragonfly stride. Boop, 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 boop. Click like, subscribe, and share it with a beautiful energy being mm, next to you. Ooh, ooh. Dragonfly stride. Bye bye. <laughs>